Well, hey guys, hey uh, good morning to you. It's uh, been it's about three, it's about three fifteen in the morning, and I'm just doing my follow up check on my night cook. Uh, I got six briskets on and uh, three three big butts on there. So I think I had these on since seven thirty yesterday. And uh, if you look at my Thermo Pro, the pit temp is two forty three, and my uh, the first three briskets that are on the first and second shelf are 153 and uh, 164. So I'm getting ready to wrap these up depending on the color because I haven't opened this up since, you know, I put them on. So, you know, when I put my brisket on, uh, all my meat for a night cook, you know, I don't open it up until it's uh, it's time uh, to wrap them up. But still open, still wide open on the stack. And I did not close my, my vial down last night. So I just kept it wide open because I did have a lot of meat on there, but it still it always locks in, man. So, uh, so we're right at two two twenty five in the middle, and uh, my thermal uh, my uh, pit pin is on the uh, first shelf, locked in at uh, two two forty five. So let's go ahead and check it out, okay? Let's see. There we go. That's looking good. That's looking quite good. You know, you know, guys. I don't. I cook everything in pans. So, the, you know, the butts, I don't too much really don't worry about, you know, because the only thing you're going to do with these things is what? Just shred it up and put it on some bread. But you can you can see already that the color looks outstanding. Nice, the bark set in. They have that little crunch on your, uh, oh, let me go turn this off. Hold on a second, guys. That's letting me know that I turned, my pitch has dropped down to 186. There we go. But nice and juicy, all the good juice on the bottom. Okay, and there's that big one in the back too. So that's why I always put my uh, my pork butts on top, you know. But that looks about all the movement, guys. So I went and push these back in. All right, that's uh oh, get in there. But that's why I like this vote, man. The pit maker vote uh, is very consistent. I mean, I got three three cabinet smokers. So I got this big one, which is like, you know, about 900 pounds. And man, you can put like 15 to 18 briskets. And I got two other ones from Humphreys, a battle box and a little wink in there. And those things rock and roll too. But when I need to, uh, when I need to put uh, put a lot of meat, this is what I'm going to. But here's the briskets. And the one guy that asked me, hey man, cooking in pans, does it affect the, the smoke profile? Oh no. You know, when I start getting that color right there, I know it's time to wrap. Cause you know, I don't spritz. I don't do anything. The, the pit holds moisture, so it's a uh, it's a good. It, it it does it does quite well on these briskets. Okay, and somebody asked me before, man, why do you have these little bits right there? Well, you know what? I don't like to have you know have some briskets. Uh, they have that big skirt in the back, uh, and it's always sticking up. I mean, th that is the first part that burns on a brisket. So I like to have it. I like to have it flat, you know, so I can get an even flow over my brisket. And you can tell I got an even color over my briskets, okay? And that's it. Don't worry about the, the bottoms, you know, having all that juice. Because, man, the only thing you're going to do with these briskets is, you know, slice it up and, uh, and, and sell it. So don't worry about that. Man. It, it comes out great. And these little pieces, I always give those for, like, little... Uh, Little taste, just give them a, a, a sample, you know, the brisket, especially if you got a barbecue trailer or you got a restaurant, you know, which I do. And man, these are some of the best eatings you can possibly have. Okay. And so these are, this got a little bit longer. You know, you, I don't rotate my brisket or anything like that, so I'm just gonna let them keep them there a little bit longer and probably another hour or so they'd be ready to go. Okay, so I don't have to serve uh, until 11 o'clock, you know, so. And these are whole, man. My brisket will hold for five to six hours. And these are the other ones on the bottom. So the, the juice is setting in. Okay. You know, I might rotate, depending on if the, the, bucks, the butts get done when I, uh, uh, when I wrap them up. So, but I am gonna wrap these butts up. So matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and let you look at the, let's see, let's get a turn temp for what this thing is. Uh, this is my this is my probe one. Let's go back over here and see. Probe one, which is this one right here, 150. 
Why is that mug going down? <laughs> I should have got my instant, my instant pro. But uh, I know, I know it's, I know it's done. But this color right here, I'm just gonna wrap it up, and I'm gonna take these. Uh, I'm gonna take my butts all the way to 200 degrees, and I'm gonna wrap my briskets up when they hit like 170, and that should be cool. You know, I don't, you know, I don't, I've got a wet. I mean, I got a dry pit. You know, so I don't, I don't ever put, uh, how hardly put water in my pit unless. My picks gets out of control when it when it jumps up to like 300 degrees, and that's when I, uh, you know, add some water in there. But this is the the firebox. Let's if I can open this thing up without burning my hand, you know. So let's. There we go. And that is all. Matter of fact, let me get my poker. Hold on a second. All right, there we go. And that is all the material that I have. You know, so I don't need nothing else. I'm just gonna let this ride, uh, finish off my cook because right now the pit's on convection mode. I'm not gonna add any more smoke, or anything. So this will get me through my uh, the, the, my final cook. All right, but that's the that's the uh, the vote in action. You know, I started off with a reverse L and probably you know three or four pieces of of, of a log and. Uh, Got me through my cook, so I put these on seven. That's a three o'clock. So let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. So it's been eight hours. So I probably got another, you know, two hours, and these should be done. But all right, guys, I gotta go. God bless you, and we'll talk to you later.